Steve Harvey, a very popular TV host in America, and he's talking about the fact that one ought to pray, and that that is a you know that holds the key. I'm telling you right now, what I'm finna tell you, if you apply it right now, can change your existence. Because everybody I know want to be happy. Everybody I know want to be successful. If you don't want them two things, there's something wrong with you anyway. So now here, most people don't have the life of their dreams because you don't ask God for the life of your dreams. You've been trying to figure it out and handle it yourself. Well, how that's working out for you? You know how hard that is to do, man? What are your thoughts on, on what he had to say? Well, that's a simple, obvious truth. I can't control my fate. I'm willing to admit that. So yes, if you, if you ask God for blessings, then you're opening yourself up to those blessings. If you don't ask, then you don't get. Make, it makes sense. But I think there's something more powerful that is a more recent development. The dependency on God is as ancient as, as, as human beings. We've always known that. You know, we, we can't be born when we decide to be born, and we can't die when we decide to die. Life is not in our hands. Success is not in our hands. There are people who work so hard and, and are so sincere in their efforts, and nothing happens. And then there are people who are careless and reckless, and money just comes pouring at them from all sides. You can't pretend to be independent. So you admit your dependence, which is healthy and, and a rational thing to do. And that itself is helpful to make your life more livable. But let's talk about something even more. Everybody wants success. Everybody wants happiness. I think that's the beginning of our problems. Because we worked very hard for thousands of years to improve our existence. That's what we've been doing forever. More success, more happiness. What happens? if you achieve success and you are happy. Now you're headed for a depression. We didn't know this until the world became affluent. In our generation, in our times, maybe our parents' times, when affluence became the norm, we discovered something greater than our dependency. If I'm successful and happy, I have no idea why. What for? So what? A person is happy and, and that's it. It's depressing. While you're trying to get happy, you're kind of busy, you're preoccupied. Once you get there, you realize, now what? So what? What did I just accomplish? Well, I have no complaints. You have no complaints is good enough? If nothing hurts, that's good enough? It's not. In fact, it's very painful. I worked hard. I achieved what I thought would be the maximum ultimate. It's not the maximum and it's not the ultimate. It's a devastating re re realization. So that assumption 
gets us into a lot of trouble. Now, Steve says, if you don't want success and happiness, well, you got other problems anyway. I mean, and if you do want success, then you've made it? You've made what? The really, really painful experiences, the parents who worked very hard and achieved success and happiness, and their kids hate them and are rebelling against them, don't want to hear anything about them and do not want to join in the family business. Why? Because they don't see any anything to be proud of. Yeah, so, yeah, we have money and we're happy. So, why? For what? What's the point? Who cares? I think there's more depression in affluent countries than there is in third world countries. Well, that's a fact. Yeah. So, the third world countries are still trying to achieve success and happiness. So they're busy. Those who have achieved success and happiness realize it's a dead end. Where do you go from there? What is the answer? Well, I think it's time to get up off our knees Stop begging God for success. That's so pathetic. We're always on our knees, always begging, always feeling dependent and helpless and needy. Enough of that. Enough of that. As true as it is, it's not that interesting. What's really interesting is this God that we're depending on what does he depend on? What does he need? What, what is he hoping for in this magnificent creation of his? We got to stop seeing ourselves as needy beggars at the door, always on our knees, and we got to realize that we are God's agents we are God's partners in making the world divine. Is that a real truth? I think so. The purpose with which God created the world, that's the truth behind the existence of the world. You know, religion benefits from dumbing down the people so that they don't ask questions. Religion benefits from making people feel weak, helpless, and dependent. Because then they're more obedient. It's a terrible development. I think I mentioned this little story. This little girl in Israel, 12 years old, was, was convinced that God was angry at her. She was, very, she was miserable. Convinced that God is angry at her. And everyone who tried could not change her mind, could not convince her that God was not angry at her. So the father called me from Israel and put her on the phone and said, Talk to her. So I said to her, God is angry at you? She says, yeah. I said, I am so jealous. She says, what? I said, you're 12 years old and you can get God angry? Wow. <laughs> How did you become so important and so powerful? The creator of the entire universe is angry at you? I'm, I'm jealous. I would love that kind of attention. 
from the creator. See, we're missing something really important. We're so focused on what we need and what we want from God, we have forgotten who God is. God is not an ATM. God created the world, so obviously he's after something. And if he says, I'm angry at you, don't you, don't you hear the compliment? What you do matters to him deeply, so that if you do something wrong and you're a 12-year-old, and what could you possibly do wrong? What did you say, a dirty word? Like what? And God is angry? Wow, you must be really, every word you say is important to God? And the answer is yes. So get up off your knees. Stop being the, the, the needy, dependent beggar. As much as you need God for your existence, God needs you for his purpose. So take a compliment. You're here to partner with God in making this world divine. You're not a beggar. You're not the problem. You're the solution. That's what the Torah says. Don't use that to beat people up. Yeah. So what is prayer? Well, yeah, well, we, we do need to be healthy and we do need to have what to eat in order to be able to serve God. So prayer actually means if you take my needs off my shoulders, I'll be free to serve you and help you make this world divine. But if my back hurts <laughs> or if I'm depressed, I'm not very useful to you, am I? So heal me, bless me, make my life functional so that I don't have to worry about it and I can devote myself to you. Are you getting the impression that I'm saying that Judaism and the original version of the Torah is the truth. <laughs> am, I, am I giving that impression? Well, not just that, but also that for some reason, and I think, to be honest, Christianity plays a big role in it. The message has been, become a little bit um, twisted. So we, we've lost that, that original message and, and it needs to be brought, brought to the fore again. Yeah. That's what this is all about. It is not that helpful to convince people that they are needy and weak and vulnerable. That's not what God is all about. It's much more helpful to let people know that they are indispensable to God's plan. much better well we need to get you onto the steve harvey show clearly <laughs> rabbi thank you as always i'm sure these videos are going to land really really well with our viewers um greatly appreciate your time and uh you know we'll see what the reactions are and, and perhaps we can consider what uh what content to look at next for at a future date if you'd be willing absolutely Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for your time, Rabbi. Rabbi Manus Friedman, YouTube's most popular rabbi. You can check him out also on his own YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, Rabbi. Thank you for your time. Good night. <laughs>